My name is Russ Mullen, and I'm a painter and a tattoo artist. When I first got into art, obviously as a child, um, comic books, cartoons, but mainly a sketchbook that my mother had from when she was in college herself. It was a huge inspiration. I remember actually trying to copy a lot of the images out of there, you know. I really can't remember what the images looked like now, but I always remember the sketchbook. I still wish I had it, actually. But a lot of the street art, you know, a lot of the skateboard art, because I was really into the skateboard culture. There's a guy called Ed Templeton. He was a, a huge influence for me. Lots of uh, graphic designers as well, like uh, Mariscal was really, really big for me. But just mainly anything that's really graphic. I really like Mambo, he's a guy from Australia. But he was mainly a clothes designer. I'm not sure if he, he probably did art shows, but I would have never known about them at the time. So yeah, like a lot of really graphic art really sort of influenced me. I just do it for fun. It's, you know, it exercises the demons, you know, and uh, it just, it, it kind of just, it's just what I do, you know? I, I don't even know why I do it anymore. I, um, I really enjoy it, you know, I really got into doing a lot of live shows recently. I mainly do it for um, some of my sponsors, so if they're doing a skateboard snowboard trade show, I'll, I'll go and hang out at the, the booth by one of the guys I'm sponsored by and do a, you know, a live painting there. And uh, they like it because, you know, I'm really good with the public and I'll talk to people that come by and it kind of creates that vibe, you know, and it gets people pumped and that's kind of what I go for. And, I do probably perform a little bit more in there because I'm a pretty quiet guy for the most part, but you know, when I get to do the live painting, it's, it's fun and talking to people, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So that's where I'm kind of going with the artwork right now. I really want to start doing some murals. I was really hoping to do some murals in Nanaimo, you know, and on the island. I did some stuff in Victoria, actually, you know, legal murals, not just graffiti. But I really want to start doing more bigger scale sort of public stuff, you know. And as far as tattooing goes, I mean, tattooing is like, it's, you get to be an artist and get paid, basically. And I love tattooing, and the tattoo art and lurk, which is my painting, is so different. And I try to keep it as different as possible. And, it's, and, that, and that's what I do like about it. It's almost like a vacation from my painting and vice versa, you know. Uh, it, but I think the tattooing has helped my painting a lot, because when you tattoo in your custom shop, like the shop I work in, you've got to be able to draw a lot of different things. So I think it really helped my artwork because it's really easy to hide behind a style and lots of tattoo artists definitely hide behind styles and sort of paintings but I think a lot has been lost in, in a lot of the art like in, in painting and in tattooing where you know people don't really know how to draw everything so they just hide behind the style basically that's what I'm getting at. I used to sign my paintings Russ you know and then I started painting these characters called Lurkers in there about six seven years ago now as a joke, just between a, a friend, uh, Dave Salem, that I used to work with at the skate show in, ta in town here, we just used to call a lot of the transient people that would be walking around lurkers, and then I started painting them in, you know, these characters. And so I, it ended up just changing to lurk because I'd go to art shows and people would ask about lurk, and they asked about the lurkers. So I just thought, you know, it's almost like a brand identity thing. Just change the whole thing to lurk, sign it lurk. Because then Russ Morland is the tattoo artist, Lurk is a whole different character, he's doing art shows, he's doing live paintings, blah blah blah, you know, he's, it's a whole different thing. People dig really deep into the paintings, I think, you know, a lot of the times I'll paint abstractly, I'll, as far as the concept goes, I'll just start painting, I'll do little sketches in the book, and I do, rarely do sketches. If I ever become famous and die, there's going to be hardly any lurk sketchbooks. It's pretty much always straight to canvas. But there is little sketches here and there. And, and because I know my characters now, because I've created this little universe, um, I just paint that universe, you know? And it's, it's, not, it's not like really I'm thinking, oh, well, this guy is going to be holding the heart and doing this and doing that. It's just, it's just what comes out, you know? And then people will really read into them, which I've it's fine, I think you should be allowed to do that, but really I think the image is a pretty straightforward and easy to read. So it's, yeah, I'm not really trying to get deep and meaningful here. I'm not really a deep and meaningful type of person. I'm a pretty straight up, straightforward.
I love walking around city streets. I love seeing sort of like the weirdos hanging out. You know, I, I love hearing people's conversations and just what, you know, I'm not like a bean dropper, but you know, I, I get inspired by friends, but mainly it's kind of comical. It's supposed to be kind of tongue in cheek, you know? I don't feel like I've really accomplished anything after I do a set of paintings, you know? A lot of the paintings I won't like instantly. I'm always striving to get better at something. I'm always like trying to search for this one ultimate painting, you know, or style or technique that's gonna make me really happy. Because a lot of times that's why I keep a lot of the paintings quite cheap, because I want friends to be able to afford them. I don't, you know, it's great, sure. And when I used to show them in the Nanmo Art Gallery, lots of different people would buy them, like businessmen, people I've never met, people that probably wouldn't even actually really get it, you know? I kind of prefer it all the times when friends buy them, you know, and we can talk about it, we laugh about it, and, you know, stuff like that, man. I have a pair of shoes that have been traveling in an art show for the last couple of years. And as far as I know, they've been all around North America, maybe Europe as well, but it's a, it's a, it's a whole show that is full of just, you know, maybe a hundred different artists doing shoes. So it was shown in a place in LA, and I don't even know what gallery is. I don't even know what gallery they go to. They've traveled to so many different places, I think. So she was there and she saw my shoes and she really loved them so much that she decided to contact the maker of the shoe that I painted on, probably through the curator of the, the actual uh, gallery. And so he contacted me and asked me if I do a pair of shoes for Britney Spears. And obviously I said yes. I mean, I was all over it, right? That's great. I mean, that's... You know, so I, I just recently finished those. They're going to get sent out. Or hopefully she'll wear them. I'm excited, obviously. I'll be more excited when I actually see pictures of her wearing them. Apparently there will be press release. There was some talk of In Style magazine with full photo credit with my name. So that would be excellent, obviously. If validated just as much as a friend buying something and being really stoked on it, then Britney Spears selling paintings and shoes at art shows is only going to take you so far. And something like this could maybe potentially open up a lot more doors for me. And, that's what I'm hoping for. I want it out there everywhere. Lurk stickers, lurk t-shirts, lurk murals on the walls. Because again, it's supposed to be fun and it's, I just want it to be out there in the public. And some of the images are negative, but a lot of them are positive. You know, I just want people to have fun with seeing it. So I, I really want it to go overboard. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of artists out there that, you know, want to be the, want to be the star of an artist and, and that's not the route for me at all. I mean, I came up from a graphic design, marketing background, you know. If that makes me evil and the devil, then so be it. You know, I'd, I'd really would like to make a living off of it. You know, I'm trying to secure my future, you know, and, and I think that's really important. I mean, that's kind of where I want to be. You know? Machine. Robot à machine.